with Dragon Quest Builders, the demo. Uh, I am a huge fan of Dragon Quest, but uh, I don't really care for Minecraft. Uh, so I downloaded this demo, and I'm probably going to get the game for my kids at some point, uh, because they like both. But the music and the graphics, and the art, the, rather the art, uh, have coerced me into playing or trying it. So here we go. Game settings. Select Jenner. Okay, let's just do hair. Dragon Quest, you gotta have blue hair. Alright. Or some outrageous purple or something. Let's go with purple. Skin. Make her nice, nice dark blue. Like a medium brown there. White eyes. <laughs> This looks like it was done by my son. That's a good Dragon Quest game. Uh, Dragon Quest name. <laughs> Zarina. Alright. What's up guys? Uh, if you're just tuning in, this is my first go with a demo. Uh, I've been a Dragon Quest fan since 86, 87, whenever the first game came out. Uh, but I don't really care for Minecraft, so this is kind of a shot in the dark or an adventure for me, if you will. <laughs> so let's see here. From the beginning. Okay, I know my son had played this demo yesterday and the day before, uh, so I haven't seen too much of it. Dragon Lord. Awesome. Dude, the music sells this game. And that's it right there. Take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Over half the world? Let me consider. If you would refuse. Zarina, at long last I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged us hallowed and in the darkness. Beneath benighted skies my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Well, it certainly looks and sounds like Dragon Quest. No matter, indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving now. Circle is jump, huh? You can fulfill your role. Is there any much of that work in you that you might perform a vital task? Of course, the fate of this world may. I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but this is not the fate of the world. Is not the fate of the world more important than? Lord, is it true you are nearly at death's door? It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Good. Zarina, you have been blessed. With a special power, the power to combine raw materials to build items anew. 
You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals together to prepare some healing cream. Okay. You can use the materials you collect to build new items. Try using the nearby crafting station to craft some healing cream. Okay. Oh, I got stuck in the cypher stick. Somebody give me a club. Make as many as possible. You have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press square to, to use two of the items, okay? You can use an item by hitting... By selecting it with blah blah blah, left or right, and pressing... Okay. Easy enough. I see the color return to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost the power of that power of creation. Zarina, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your shoulders. You must... Hmm, well, yes, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place. But first, you must learn of your... <laughs> great dragon quest. I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. First, take this broken branch, okay? The humble broken branch sleeps. So, so what? It's the tree so. Okay. So, tutorial section here. Okay, first, what the mankind wants me to do is to build thriving civilization. And so, let's so do so to the. Yeah. You've been entrusted with a divine mission to. I can well imagine you are able to see the world outside. Uh, and more of so very well. Let's first equip the weapon you have made. So X to open the main menu and place a cypress stick in your hand. The weapons are unless they're equipped, right? Press X to open the main menu. Select equipment to equip your items and equipment bag, okay. Oh, this is an old school dragon quest. Hello. What's up? Thanks for watching. Let's see. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve together materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness, and mankind lost its power, they awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Zarina, my child, the dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. If the land is ever against the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... It's me. Who's me? Fred? <laughs> it's best to continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, you must... You must break apart and collect the nearby earth. Yeah, to press triangle to break things apart and turn them into materials. I'm gonna smash the earth around you and collect ten earth blocks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's up, dude? What's up? What's up? I am no fan of Minecraft, but the Dragon Quest, man. Press square to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. Plus, I don't have the expansion, so I, I wanted to stream something different and relevant for our channel. I have marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth here to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. Okay.
here. Mm, that ground looks shaky to me. It's definitely a uh, dragon quest right there. Well done, Zarina, you have found your way back to the outside world. When you're just brightness, you will see the world. Uh, oh, we're in Dragon Quest 1. Oh, hmm. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create until it was wrenched from them by the Dragon Lord, right? Without their cultural criminals. Zarina, my child, you've been trusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt and the people of Alfgard, or Alf, Alfgard, right? So I've always called it Alfgard. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child, after having only just awoken from so long, some of this must all come as quite a shock. Let's adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn of the, the tragedy that befell this world and the role you are to play in its salvation. Erdrick does this. <laughs> I am Rubus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I, I do watch over you always. Or maybe this is before Erdrick's quest. And the one last thing you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Yeah. Cantlin, oh yeah. Dude, it's Dragon Quest One uh, soundtrack symp symphonized. That is fantastic. Long, long ago, Bustling City thrived here. All sorts of four. It was all destroyed by the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remained of its former greatness. You must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. So be the first step in the to make uh, Alif Alif Guard arise once more. To this end, I bestow upon you a gift. Fred, if Dragon Quest Ten ever comes out. Cause it's online, you, you gotta get it, dude. We can take this shit on together. Take this banner of hope in hand, and seek the source of light you see before you. Even as the darkness closes in around them, the memory of Kate Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in the sand once more, that it's bountiful full light that serves as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Make haste for the pillar of light. raw materials here. This is pretty awesome. Never go where you're supposed to go in any Dragon Quest game. Never go that way first. <gasps> Chimeras. Oh my god. Those dudes are bad news. At least they're not star star uh, chimeras. Okay, so we do have hit points here. It looks like I may need to rebuild weapons as well. I don't know how much of an RPG this is actually going to be. Drakey's. It's weird to not be fighting in turn-based turn combat. No, 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 we don't want anything to do with those guys. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it's okay. Pushovers. Special facetide fan of fluttering feathers instantly transports you to your base. Yes, this I know. I can see my feet over there. <laughs> ops. Uh, ops, yep. Pretty much, dude. Alright, hang on, baby. Looks and sounds like a Dragon Quest game. What's this? This, <laughs> the soundtrack itself is worth sixty bucks. Drakies. Lots of Drakies. There's a slime. <laughs> Blue goo. <laughs> One of those metal slimes in this game. Okay, I see. Where was I supposed to go? Is that a she slime? No. I do see a stick over there that I'd like to pick up. Then I'll figure out what the hell we're supposed to do here. So I'm getting the vibe that this game basically gives purpose to the Minecraft formula, so that it's not just building and rebuilding, it's to follow some sort of narrative or something. Cool. It's pretty cool that it takes place in Dragon, uh, the, looks like just before the events of DQ1. There's an old worn sign poster with the words my pledge and the lies at the top. Would you like to read it? Yes. Many years have passed since the violent and wicked dragon lord and shroud of a realm of darkness. And I checked and even my dear home, the city of Cantlin, has finally fallen. It was but a matter of months after being robbed of the power to create that we did begin to lose our culture. Even now few and few of our people are illiterate. For so long as we did take that most dear and precious power for granted. Without it, we are undone. But if I cannot prevent humanity's decline, at least I can report it to the settlers of travel to the land of Olive Garden to take note of what has befallen mankind. May this notice stand, stand testament to my vow. I intend to col uh, collate the records of my journey into a book which I shall title A Passage to Tanta Jail, meaning castle, right? I invite all who read this pledge to follow me in the footsteps to seek out my story. May the goddess watch over thee in all thine adventures. Sir Reginald Augustus Green and this Catlin Brigade of Guards. Come and get some. I like this, but I on one hand, it pisses me off that it's not DQ11. <laughs> <gasps> 
shit, that's a mage. Oh. Yeah. Oh, scumbags. to treat this like a traditional DQ game. I don't think wandering around and collecting things is going to pay the same kind of dividends as it does in a traditional entry. Hi baby. Hang on, what are you? I'm on my dog Oh, okay, uh, in a bit, okay, we'll get another one soon. Ooh. Controls are taking some getting used to. Chimera Wing. Torch will build. Okay. Never have too many weapons, right? Ancient books are so difficult to read. Oh, they're losing their ability to read and write. Deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. The handwriting is so bad that Zarina cannot summon up the will to read anymore. <laughs> God, it, this place is like infested with drakeys. Dragon Quest style right there.
I guess I should head towards that town and put my uh, put my banner there. All right, let's get on it. No. Huh. No. It's so awesome to hear the, the original game soundtrack with the symphony behind it. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. Where was that place? There it is. Let's head that way. <laughs> Fred, you need to go back and play Dragon Quest games, dude. This is written on the signpost. The monsters always attack from this direction. You must build a wall. Okay, so. It was written a long, long time ago. Somebody must have lived here. Let's see check the time. Okay. First towns you visit in uh, DQ1. Near and far will be attracted by the banners beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Ah. Yes. Back. Oh, is that Mash? There's something special that's just so bright and inviting. Uh oh, it looks like Mash or Bangers. Oh no, it's a girl. My name's Pippa, what's yours? I'm trying to have a fly here. Who are you? Where'd you come from? The goddess told you to come here? So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's the suspicious in the slightest. <laughs> oh, but this place is so just so lovely. Can I live here? Serena, my child, even with the power that draws in, you cannot rebuild Canton alone. The first step in rebuilding this city must be to house those who join you in living here. Okay. The remains of this dilapidated house save the door. Repair it by filling the holes. Okay. Box hold up by Hardy L1 below you, okay. R1. Okay. are full of holes, but now they're as good as new. You yeah, fixed it with dirt. I thought you were just a weird girl with voices in her head. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. I found them on the way here. You can have it fixed in the house for me.
fare giù di verde. Quindi, ma ciao, do you know what I told you? One of the people that's been lost the power of creation is your duty now. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use for that some kind of light inside. Hmm, but I can't see any torches lying around here. I got it. You said you're better hope you'll find Mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch. So let's use them to construct a torch reveal. The fruits of your labor is okay. Pick some up from around here and somehow change the new torch right here. <laughs> I think I understand, sort of. Hey, do you think you might be able to build anything else with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Okay. You never told me your name. Zarina. What kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you have any special powers at all. But you can't sound like a stripper's name. <laughs> but you can't judge someone by their name, right? Ah, it's a year of Anyways, Arena, you still got those torches you made, right? We should put one in the house. A room is completed. It has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press square to place your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, place this torch inside the house. Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing, Zarina. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone looks so dopey. <laughs> but you can't judge someone by their appearance. I love Dragon Quest humor. Well, you should like this, Fred. It's all uh, Dragon Ball art. I think that guy's worked on Dragon Quest since the series' inception. Uh, the artist, anyways. You know, thanks, Zarina. Now I have somewhere to live. Ah, Seed of Life, yes. Now, Seeds of Life and Dragon Quest are usually extremely important and rare, so I'm thinking I'm going to hold on to that for a while. Let's see. Hey, Zarina, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be so much better if we had something to sleep on at night? And you could build something. You must go to materials that you might fashion some bedding. If you place a bed in, in a room, you can sleep on it any time, no idea to restore your health. It would be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If you had two beds, you could sleep next to each other. This time, Zarina, I should leave it to you to gather the materials you need uh, to build the straw mattress. Young people requests. Straw mattress can be constructed from grass and leaves. To build one, you must first. Are you alright? the north side to make a straw mattress. Basic bedding made from dried weeds woven together can be slept on score 30 points. bad boys and see what that does for us. We'll check that we can check the recipe too, but well, so this game isn't as childish as I thought it might be. It definitely has a, a strong vi Dragon Quest vibe. 
which may or may not surprise some people. And it's got the, uh, the building aspect of like alchemy in, in the main series, so that's good. Action, action combat in a Dragon Quest game is strange. <laughs> I know this is a much, not really a combat kind of game, but... Got to run, dude. Have fun. Got to run, dude. Have fun. All right, dude. Hey, uh, you up for some streaming later? Uh, Destiny. Okay, we'll do that later. Um, hopefully, I, Jen has a little bit of work to do. I gotta get the kids in about an hour, and then I'll be home, make dinner, bathe the kids, get them to bed, and boom. So hopefully, I'll have be on much earlier today than I normally am. So have fun, dude, wherever you're going. Here comes annoying girl. Peepa. Oh, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Zarina. Whether it is night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sunset, the darkness will close in around you. School. More power. Ah, okay. Go learn things. Okay. Um. God, looking at myself on TV. I gotta shave. I gotta take this face uh, from 43 to 39 with a quick shave. <laughs> When I falls, you should do well to return to your base, rest your head upon a pillow, and sleep until morning. No, night monsters are the best. You discover the means to build a strong mattress on a street that I've bestowed upon you. It seems you also bear the special skills of the strong weapon you made for you. This is wonderful power, it shall no doubt improve and valuable to you in your quest to rebuild this thing. Okay. Was the goddess speaking to you? Where you start staring off into space again with your mouth wide open again. You've got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, Zarina. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Two branches is my reward. <laughs> Can I ask you something? With all this wandering out of light and stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? No, it's not just me. That's not my tummy around the U.S. bearing. But anyway, look, there are a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. Can you go get some plumberries from his arena? Please, we need at least five for a decent meal. Okay. That's for 
That never falls far from the tree. Perhaps you should look around and see if they're nearby. Well, you found some. Can I have them? Sure. See, it always pays to do things and explore ahead of time in Dragon Quest games. No matter what kind of Dragon Quest game it is. Hooray, thanks, Serena. To tell the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Here, these are for you. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. So I gave her five and she gave me three back? Oh. I've been thinking. Yes, after all, you're going to have to collect all of your materials pretty soon. Why, well, it's a secret, teehee, but you should still need something to put all your stuff in. Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage your resources together would serve you well. Can you keep even an item that would serve such a role? How to make a chest, okay. Branches bundled together to form a stout, strong box. Okay. I don't really need to open on that one, I just... And how much can a chest hold? Incredible. Now you made chest, now you can put all the stuff you've collected in there and go collect even more stuff. You know, Zarina, there's something I've always wondered. What exactly has happened in this world? They say that the light was stolen from us by a really bad man. Ever since, it's been all anyone could do to just to survive. Nobody can put themselves and they never help anyone else out. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild the city and everyone could live together? I feel like if you're around, anything can happen. We should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. But we'll need loads and loads of material to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. Alright, so it's agreed. We're going to build the biggest, bestest city in the whole world. I think you'll think about what we need to build and you'll build it. You're gonna help me, aren't you, Zarina? Aren't you? Keep an eye on the time. Alright. It's going to be a lot of work in this place in the huge city, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it would help. Maybe I could build that would be for you. We need, need room to work in, just like the one in this picture. Can you give me a room like the one I've drawn, please? Pretty please? It would seem that I was working with your people of will to build blueprints such as the one she has gifted unto you. will be laid on the ground by pressing square. Press the uh, thumb or the mouse. Within the bounds of your base. I don't know if you recognize them. Okay. You could use that Mason's workstation over there. Uh, you know the flag, you probably have to bash about it before you can move it. Oh, in the room, we'll need a door to get in and out, and it's torch or something to light up, but you can make these things from raw materials, right? Primitive domain of sticks and straw can be open and closed, okay? Yes, 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 yes. Save here. Look at what we got going over here. I think we should put the chest right. Let's let's kind of be central here. Or we can even go in the room, I guess. There you go. Easy. Let's see. Scrumptious seed that grants. Great vigor increases maximum.
No, no. Alright, be careful, please. And then my two-year-old is right below me here. back to town and craft another one. Let's do this too. That's kind of annoying. Fire Mason's workstation struggle chest. Okay, so let's go collect some materials first. Let me wait before the I've got to build a stick. There we go. There's the club. There's the club. What am I missing? Horse cloth. Oh man. Alright, be careful, baby. 